Hi, I'm Patty Hyden. And I'm John Gifaldi. Welcome to Let's Get Cooking. Well, today, Patty, I wanted to show you my version of fried green tomatoes. I love those. And of course, you know, mom and dad used to make them, but we're Italian, so it always had a little Italian twist. I was just going to say, they were a little more Italian, actually, with yeah. breadcrumbs and stuff. Exactly. So, um, while I'm prepping the tomatoes, what I thought would be really cool is that if you would make your roasted red pepper sauce, that we can drizzle over the top. Okay. So I've got gathered some of these ingredients. I, I hope I have everything. Prepped everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, that's great. Um, well, if you want to start doing that, then yeah. I can show you guys uh, everything that's in here. Um, these are, of course, a jar of roasted red peppers. These are these are from Italy, um, which so these are really good and they're packed in olive oil. So I've used about a half of this. You know, Patty, I just bought those in the grocery store right on the shelf. Did you really? But there is an imported section in my grocery mm -hmm. store that has yeah. really great stuff. Of course, you know, if, you, if you're lucky enough to go to the market, buy your own. All you got to do is put them under the broiler, roast them until they get black, take them out, put them in a paper bag. And then they're, oh, as soon okay, as you cool. do that, it's even easy cleanup. You just cut the bag open and slice it, just kind of rub the skins and all the black comes off. And Great. And Roll your little bag away. So you can make your own. <laughs> you can. Now, so those um, roasted red peppers, I think they're just um, in like a regular water, but you would drain it. You don't you put would, any of If they were in water, in. yeah, you would drain it if they were in water. Okay. okay, and so then I gave the garlic a little head start here. This is uh, two cloves of garlic. Okay. Right in. Okay. Oh, let me move these dishes. I, like to, I put about a palm full of basil in okay. if you're using dry. Again, of course, it's different if you're using um, if you're using um, fresh ingredients. Right, use a little bit less use of the basil. Use a little bit less, less. yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. And I'm going to just put start with a couple of, probably once around, probably about a couple tablespoons. Okay. Okay, and then... Then just start mixing it. Huh? Yeah. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> this is such really a great flavor, too. yeah. It smells good, too. Okay, this is your blender. It's working on the first one. <laughs> Yeah, I can see okay. it's really starting, starting to come starting together. To what I like to do then is I like to give it a little taste. Okay. Yeah, okay. I need some pepper. Okay. You know, to whatever you guys, you know, it's your preference. It's your it's your sauce, you okay. know. And in this case, it does need a little bit of, a little bit of salt, too. Now, you're just blending this till it's smooth. Just until it's smooth, Okay, yeah. you don't want it soupy or watery. You just want a, no, a, no. a thick sauce. No, and this is a raw sauce. Right. Nothing to cook. Anything. Okay, that was my next question. We don't yeah. have to take this to the stove and cook it or anything. No, no. Okay, great. Okay, so I'll just I'll just go and pulse away over here and then you can All right, take then it you away. know what? Then we'll meet you over at the stove and we'll start <laughs> the rest of the uh, process here. Okay. So I've got everything set up. I've got the tomatoes, the eggs, and the breadcrumbs. These are seasoned Italian breadcrumbs. Oh, great. It's one egg with a little milk uh -huh. in it. And we're going to dredge it okay. and then drop it in the frying pan. And I see you've got these, uh, the tomatoes here. Is this milk or is this buttermilk? Yeah. You could use either one. Today okay. I just put it in regular milk. And I just slice them and put them in there for just a few minutes, just as long okay. as it takes me to set it up. Right. And you've got your breading station all set up here, so that's wonderful. Yep. So I just, just start a little production line going here. Uh-huh. And again, I like to get these really coated. Oh yeah, this is very similar to what Mom and Dad used to yes, do. Yes, yes, it is. I sort of rem I remember this. Well, sort of, because we were never allowed to be near the stove. <laughs> and that's true. We just got the finished product. That's right. <laughs> Which, of course, was the best part. Yes, anyways. <laughs> those were the days, huh, John? <laughs> yeah, not anymore. Now we're the now no, we're the <laughs> in charge. Yeah. So, yeah. so you just keep loading these up. I what see. I'm going to do yeah. is. You're going to basically fry them. I've got just regular vegetable oil. Oh here. yeah, I, I meant to ask. Uh huh. And that is takes maybe a minute or two on each side. Mm -hmm. The tomatoes are really hard when they're green, mm -hmm. so you need to let them cook enough to just start to soften up. I was up. just going to say, how do you know when they're done? Do they actually change color? They um, a little better. They get a little brown because you'll okay. see already. You can see how oh, that's yeah, browning up. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, that looks great. They'll get nice and brown, uh -huh. and you can tell by just touching it as they start mm -hmm. to get tender. Okay. Then, it, then what we'll do is drain them on a paper towel because you really don't want that excess oil. Right. And I see you're not crowding the pan. Nope. Okay. Just taking our time here. Yeah, because it's important. It it brings down the temperature of your oil. That's you true. Do. Yeah. So we'll let these cook. Wow. They smell good. <laughs> yeah, they really do. Oh, look at that. That looks great. Yep. See, that's how you want yep, it to... Yep, that's what I remember. 
want it to start looking. Mm -hmm. Then what we'll do is we'll take these, like I said, we'll drain them here, then we'll go back to the island and I'll show you how I would um, prep them for for eating. For eating. <laughs> yeah, plate them is what I meant yeah, to say. Yeah, yeah. That sounds good. Okay, well, we're almost done here, Patty. What I wanted to show you is this is what they look like when they're done. They're nice and brown. Yeah. And I could tell just by kind of touching them that it was time to turn them over. Mm -hmm. Basically, it was three or four minutes on each side. Okay, because they soften up, actually. They really do. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I'm not sure if I told you it started with about a quarter of a cup of vegetable oh, the oil. Oh, vegetable oil, I yep. didn't use olive oil. Right. And then when I drain them, I'm draining them on paper towel. Mm -hmm. But um, if you also, if you have the brown paper. Yes, the bags. brown paper bag. Remember, Dad used to just to cut the brown bags up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the brown oh, yeah. And actually, if I have it, I prefer that, but I didn't yeah. have any brown paper bags yeah. today. So I just... Um, they probably equally absorb the same. Yeah. yeah. Using the paper towels. Okay. So let's finish this up, and I'll meet you over at the island, and I'll show you how we put it all together. Wonderful. Well, Patty, I can't wait for you to try this. You can see um, mm. the tomatoes are all done. Mm -hmm. I let them drain. Now we're going to yeah. have a chance to plate them. Okay, this so you're just drizzling a little bit of the... I am. This is your roasted red pepper my, sauce. My contribution. <laughs> when you can see, it's a little bit chunky, which is the way we just yeah. we happen to yeah. like it. Yeah. So, all right, grab a knife and fork and dig in. This is the best part wow. you get. Oh, this looks fabulous. Okay. Wait. Got to get a little of everything here. Mmm. This is great. See, are these great or mm -hmm. what? All right, I'm going to get one more bite full. <laughs> I would have these every day. I would have them every day, too. They're good for you. Mmm. <laughs> well, Jen, you can cook for me any day. <laughs> no problem. Salute. Salute. Try Ciao, these at everybody. home. Bye. <laughs>